Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm a keeper here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, and I work with our two Grant zebras. And welcome back to our Abnormally Normal video series here at the zoo. Even though things are pretty hectic and chaotic around the world, we're functioning just as normal as usual to help keep our animals nice and happy. So that includes a lot of training and enrichment that we do with our animals. So here we have our two Grant zebra. We have Mujambi and Wembe. The way that you tell them apart is by looking at the tips of their ears. Mujambi has white tipped ears and then Wembe over here has black tipped ears and that's a quick and easy way to tell them apart. Obviously their stripe patterns are different. Stripe patterns are unique to each and every zebra just like our fingerprints. Um, so this is Phil, one of the other keepers in this area and he is going to be doing some injection training with Wembe. So here at the zoo we do a lot of husbandry training and that's just a fancy way of saying um, we like our animals to participate in their own vet care. Um, so they come up, he willingly shows his neck, and Phil has the complete opportunity by Wembe's choice to give him any kind of vaccine or shot that he might need. Um, so they get their rabies and their West Nile. So Phil is just getting him prepped in that because this summer he's going to need to get his West Nile virus too. So Wembe's super comfortable with Phil, which is a really good thing. It's really important to have that relationship when you're doing some things that we don't even like, we don't like getting shots as humans. So it's really important that they get, or that they have a really good relationship. Aside from husbandry training, we also like to do some cutesy stuff. So as you can see, their relationship is really amazing. Like I said, when they leans in for a good old head scratch and ear scratch, this is also helpful to husbandry as well, um, because we, that gives us the opportunity to manipulate and touch our zebra's ears or get a close look at their eye so that if there's anything stuck in their eye or maybe they're holding their ear back kind of funny we can get in there and look at that as well so it's super important that they're comfortable with us touching them and all of that so now we'll switch on over to Majambi um, but while they're switching around um, I'll just tell you a little bit about zebras so zebra stripes like I said are unique to every zebra and they're also called disruptive coloration camouflage which is super helpful to the zebras because it helps confuse their predators which are typically hyenas and lions um, and it also helps confuse monochromatic sight insects like blood sucking insects because they're just black and white so it confuses them and it helps disperse heat as well so about 70 percent of the heat um, actually gets uh, absorbed to them. So the white stripes help reflect the heat, which is super important over in Africa. And then now we're gonna show Mujambi's cute little training. This is what we do when we have guests come and get a zebra encounter. He's quite the ham and he's got the most gorgeous smile. <laughs> so we captured that one day when he was just uh, offering up and showing his teeth when he was super excited and one of our keepers happened to get it on cue and it just always makes for a really great picture, especially when he sticks his tongue out as well. So as you're looking at his stripes, sometimes when they have their thick coat, you can kind of tell that their black fur is thicker and stands up a little bit more than their white fur. And then there's always that age old question, what color skin do zebras have? Um, their skin is black and the way you can tell that is by looking at the tip of their nose and their mouth. Um, that's where there is no fur at all. And so that's their skin. So their skin is black. So they're, but they do have black and white stripes, but their skin is black. So here, when Mujambi's up here for husbandry training, we also do injection with him here. He's also um, blood draw trained, which is super helpful um, to get blood work done in case he is feeling a little under the weather or anything. And he's also stethoscope trained. So we can get a stethoscope on his body to listen to his heart, his stomach, and all of that kind of stuff. So we take really good care of our zebra here and it makes him happy because he's half smiling for us. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> See, even Mujambi's happy here with his husbandry training. <laughs> well, thanks for coming and meeting our zebra guys. <laughs> They say bye, Mujambi will give you one big smile, <laughs> and then we'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.